Alright, um, this is kind of a little bit of a different video. Um, I'm filming this mainly because I haven't really um, gotten a chance to film, film uh, kind of a, a bank trip in a while. Um, but I am actually going to be um, trading in a box of nickels. Um, I don't know if they're going to give me a box. Um, I, you know, yesterday when I called them, I said, um, you know, do you have $100 worth of nickels? Um, which usually means, you know, just like 50 rolls or whatever, but, um, when I mentioned it this time, she was like, uh, yeah, we can do a box of nickels, so I don't know if it's a machine box or it's, um, customer rolls, because that, that, customer rolls of what I've been getting most of the time, um, I haven't gotten a box there in a while, um, I kind of hope it's a box, but also I have, like, I have a box worth of, um, uh, customer wrapped pennies, and I would kind of like it to just be all customer wrapped, but, um, so I'm going there right now. It's not typically a bank that I like to do coin for coin exchanges. Um, but the funny thing is that the lady who used to work there, um, the, the lady who used to work there, um, is not there anymore. And she was the one who mainly used to enforce it. So, um, at least I'll, I'll, I called ahead. So I'll hopefully be able to do it. My only hope if their customer app rolls is that they're not, they don't have marks on them because I've ha have had, I do know that there are at least one or two people who corner hunt there, um, because I've been told by the tellers that, um, there's at least one guy that buy buys half dollar boxes and also returns there, which, I don't know, I don't, you really shouldn't be doing that if you have an account at other branches, but anyway, um, just, you know, so I'm just hoping if they are custom wrap rolls, there's like a variety of types, so that way I'm not just like feeling like I'm just wasting my time hunting through them. So that's the only reason why I prefer a machine wrap box, but I'm, we're heading there right now. Um, there is, um, in the same area where the bank is, there's also a grocery store, and the customer service over there um, does actually get half dollars and dollar coins a lot. I've scored them there uh, quite a few times, uh, more than ever, pretty much. Um, and then there's also, um, I think, another little bank in there. So, um, yeah, I'll let you guys know um, the results of what I get. Alright guys, so um, I did check with the customer service. They didn't have any half dollars or dollar coins, but I, I do check there a lot because they do have them. Uh, we're heading to the bank right now. Um, we'll see and I'll, I'll exchange that box of nickels and we'll see what rolls we get. Um, they, they I called them I called ahead. They know I'm coming in. So, um, yeah, and I'll see if they have any, if they don't have end up not having the nickel. We'll see what else I can get. Alright, we'll see. Alright guys, I got another penny hunt. Uh, this is kind of a weird one because um, originally I was going to do a $25 box worth of customer wrapped. However, I ended up getting all of these, except for these four. Um, all of these today. And um, I know that these are looked through. Um, one of the tellers had told me um, a while ago that these had been uh, already sifted through. However, I'm still going to include them in this because um, I've I've opened a few rolls before and I've opened a few rolls today and they was finding Canadian pennies and copper. Um, and then I have four other rolls that have some markings on them. So I just put those with these because I'm guessing that they're already looked through as well. Um, so I'm going to hunt these and these. I got all these here, these two. These don't have any marks on them, but I mainly put these and these together because um, I don't know how much I'll expect out of these either. So I'll start on the search rules. I will bring you guys in on the Canadian pennies. If I start getting a lot of them, I not, might not fill them all. But I'll get started on these, and I'll bring you guys in on my first find, wherever it is. All right, well, we finally got our first foreign. Um, I was starting to think that maybe I was wrong. That there are no more foreigns, but I did find one. Canadian, 1979. All right, that's our first real find, I guess. We'll keep going. Well, this definitely helps uh, my copper, because this roll is all copper. Every single coin, there's a lot of 59s in here, I can tell. There's a ton of them. There's a 65, there's a 59, there's a 59, there's a 59. There's a ton of coppers in here. I don't see any Wheaties. I'm not seeing any Wheat Pennies so far, I'm just seeing Memorials. Um, there's another 59. 
So that's awesome. Um, all right, we'll keep going. All right, well, this roll looks like mostly copper as well. Um, and I will say I am almost done with these. I got about 10 rolls left of those, and then I'm moving on to the uh, presumably regular rolls. So I'll get through these, and if there are any more finds, I'll let you guys know. I just wanted to show you guys something funny with the trick of the camera light. Um, if you look at uh, these coins and told me um, that there were no, no copper pennies in all of these, you'd, you wouldn't believe me. But none of these coins are copper. All of them look copper by the edge, but they're not. They're all zinc. I don't know, just kind of crazy trick of the camera. Alright, well I revealed our second foreign coin. Looks a little older. Yeah, 1966. Alright, that's another copper Canadian. And, uh, we'll keep going. Well, these rolls weren't quite being as good as I thought they would be. But I did see a foreign in here. Yep, right here. 1994 Canadian penny. Alright, we'll keep going. Alright, well, I literally turned the camera off because I was, like, losing complete hope about these rolls. But we're almost through. We have basically only 10 rolls left, and we finally got a wheat penny. Right here, a 1954S. Finally got a find. Um, hopefully we can maybe squeeze out one more before the rolls are all done. Let's keep going. All right, this is pretty much the wrap-up of the hunt. Uh, I did get more two, uh, four more uh, Canadian pennies, a 68, a 98, a 79, and a 2000. Uh, kind of a ho-hum hunt. Um, I did get a whole bunch of 59s. Um, a lot from that one roll. Um, but I did get a few things. Um, although it was kind of disappointing. I think that maybe some of those rolls were looked through. Um, even the ones without the mark. We did get a couple of wheat cents. Um, but not every hunt is a good one. Uh, you just gotta keep going until you find the hunts that are good. So, um, yeah. Well, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video.